Hey YouTube, Peter Bill Knife Guy. Today is the day. Today is the day that I make all you Buck fanboys cringe. This is all for fun and games, by the way. People take this too seriously when I uh, when I bash on Grandpa's knife, but uh, everybody's allowed their own opinion, and this is mine. And if you like it, cool. And if you don't, also cool. Welcome to America. We can all think what we want. So, anyways, I'm going to be taking this here brand new buck 119 and i am going to be mercilessly beating it into crap i am going to stab it into a metal bucket i'm going to stab it into a old lunch box that i have i'm going to be batoning it through logs and i'm going to be batoning it crossways cross grain between logs or wood or whatever i don't know i'm going to try to do things to it that a knife should be able to handle but you know everybody in the comments gonna be like oh it's not designed for that that grandpappy skin a knife Arr. you don't need a knife this big to skin something literally you need a knife this big to skin something you need a knife this big to skin something you don't need the knife that big to skin something this is an outdoors knife it should be able to handle outdoor tasks that's my opinion i'm entitled to it if you dislike it let me know in the comments. But let's get to it. I'm gonna move you over to the Stump of Truth and we're gonna get this thing going. All right, YouTube, we're back at the Stump of Truth and a lot's happened since I freaking uh, stopped that video. I forgot I went to uh, pick up a, uh, a round to do some uh, batoning and it's eucalyptus. It's the same stuff the stump's made of. And I'll tell you what, this shit is not easy to split. Um, it ain't quite dead, but it ain't quite alive either. There's still some moisture in there, but look at the strands on that. I hit that with my splitting maul, and this round wasn't that big, about as big as this one. It took me like five minutes to just get like three chunks off there, and I've been splitting wood my whole life, but I've never been, you know, it's always usually oak, never uh, eucalyptus, but I'll tell you what, whoo. So anyways, that's what we're gonna be batoning through, but let's do some, uh, let's do some tests here. Uh, Let's just do some stabbing. It doesn't really, it's not really a test. Any knife can stab. Oh. Yeah, it stabs. It's a knife. Um, before we get too far into this, I'm gonna pause you and get a piece of paper here real quick. Sorry about that. Had to, uh, Prepared is not my thing, but I want to show you the initial sharpness before the test. This is factory, out of the box, no strop, no nothing. It's a good edge. It's a very good ed edge, actually. So we'll continue to test the edge after uh, each sequential test. All right, I had to adjust the camera. It wasn't quite focusing right. It seems to be focusing now. And I hurt myself. All right, let's uh, <clears throat> start off with some easy. Some of the bucks should be able to do. Let's do some carving. Yeah, it carves. It carves quite well. It carves pretty dang good. Pretty good. But watch this. So does a $40 pocket knife. So we ain't giving grandpa's knife that win. Any knife can do it. Let's do some light chopping. Uh, you're gonna have to two finger this thing if you wanna if you wanna chop with it. Let's uh let's chop. Hey look, there's a beautiful knot. No, uh, no deformations. Something like that's what took the Buck 124 out. Maybe there is something to this. Let's see if it picked up any, uh, any burrs in the edge here. Nope. 
Nope. Holding up good. Clean this up. Go to the next one. All right. So let's get this. I uh, got this one by something or other. One by three, maybe. Let's do some cross batoni. See what happens. That's not what that knife's for. It's a camp knife. It's for skinning T Rexes. Something loosened up. Can you hear that? Something loosened up in there. Let's do that a couple more times. Just can't wait for the comments. You're not supposed to do that with that knife. <laughs> No shit, but a knife like this should be able to handle that. Yeah, something's definitely loosened up in there. Can you hear that? Huh. All right, let's try some batoning, some battening before this thing uh, goes fully AWOL. Uh, here we go. Let's see here. Should I move you up a little bit? Yeah, me off. All right, let's try to baton. Let's try to batten this thing. Ooh, Ooh is that a... That's not a knot. What is that? It's beating the shit out of my baton. What is vibrating? Why is this vibrating? All right, whatever, let's continue. Vibrating? Nope. Batten down the hatches. Hmm. A little cross battening. I need to buy a new dead blow hammer after this. Something's loosened up. Oh, I have a visible crack or a visible gap right behind the guard now, right there. I don't know if you can see that. Mm, right there. You can. Let's see. Trust me, it's there. So I wonder if I bent the tang. Hmm. Oh, Grandpappy be mad. Grandpappy be real mad. There we go. Let's uh, see how do we want to go about this one here. Can you 
see that? Oh, you fuck fanboys are gonna be so mad. So mad. How dare somebody use a sacred grandpa's knife like a knife. She's still straight. Let's check the edge. Check the edge. Edge is still good. But honestly, batoning, a lot of people will baton and uh, check the edge. Once the wood, let's see if I can explain this, where people who can understand, uh, let's see here. Once the knife is in past a certain point, it is no longer hitting the edge. It is using the wedge effect on the cheeks of the knife and is really not much more going towards your edge other than the initial inch you're going in. So it's not a real, unless you're going through a knot, it's not a real hard uh, edge test. All right, let's continue to process this down just a little bit more. Why do I feel like I need glasses for this shit? Probably because I do, right? Safety first. Or third. Whatever. Oh, it's beating the shit out of my... It's beating the crap out of my dead blow. Good thing it's just a cheapy Harbor Freight. One pounder. No tip damage. Beaver it out of there. Little chunks. There we go. All right. So now there's a knot in here. Let's uh let's beat this thing through it. Can you see? did it. Grandpa's knife did it. He lost his dentures in the process, but he did it. Let's see here. Oh, there's a, there's a something. something hard in there. Which way can you see the best? There we go. Man, I don't know. I don't know. I think we got to get the bigger hammer. The bigger hammer. God damn. Woo. There's something in there. I don't know what. This video is getting pretty long. I'm gonna probably make this a two-parter. Let's try to get through this though. You know what? 
trying to do this up high as a bitch. Let's move this down lower where I have better room to swing. There we go. I'm gonna have a hell of a mess to clean up. Sweating my ass off. It's like uh, it's like 100 degrees in here right now. All right, let's see here. Don't see any wobbles in the blade. It has loosened up. Something in here is loosened. The guard. I don't know if the handle's loose yet. Let's see here. Nah, it's just the guard that loosened up. That is not uncommon for knives, especially with guards. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this will be the conclusion of the uh, first test. I'm fat and it's hot, so we're going to have to do this another day. Um, stay tuned for part two, and uh, we're going to see what this thing can take. Honestly, <clears throat> it... It surprised me. It surprised me Grandpappy's knife uh, made it this far. Uh, you know, I, I still don't trust the stick tang on it, but we'll find out in uh, test number two. We are gonna take it and baton it through, or stab it through that guy, stab it through that guy, and maybe do some more tip tests because we're probably just gonna end up breaking this knife. Thanks for watching.